again welcome back so i said i start the next video on the ejectors and they've just been delivered so a bit of a mess we're just trying to work out why the main beam's not working this side um which we've got to chase into the fuse box at the moment so but with injectors are here so i'm just gonna put the box back on put the air fit all back in um get the new injectors in plumb everything pipes back in make sure it's good to run up um run it up and see if our idle has improved and gone so i'll just show you the injectors um so again old Top hat style, and these are new Bosch ones. These are actually made in 2018, so they're still making them. So yeah, Bosch one, nice and nice and shiny. Again, next to no difference in them. Um, slightly thinner body, I think maybe, but again, the only difference mainly is you haven't got the bottom circlip to hold the seal on. Um, that little one there but so new seals on there which i'll be doing new anyway so seals on there lube them up put them on the lines put them in and then see if it starts up nicely So, as we've just heard, the engine's back together and it's running beautifully. The misfire's gone. Yes, a little bit hunty, but now we just need to get a CO meter and tweak between there, the idle and CO2. Problem was, metering head. Now, I spoke to someone who's been tuning these cars since he left college, pretty much, uh, Mr. Tom Walker. He used to work at TSR, now runs a very successful retro resource which this will be going down to on a rolling road for him to tweak and to make sure it's putting out some good power now i spoke to him about a few things and he said before i changed the injectors he went meter and head it's got with the meter and head um they are notoriously hard to change and pull apart um i don't know what's wrong with mine but it wasn't right so put a spare one on there um again i don't know how old that is or but that one's on there, it's working, it's still got the same pressures, um, and we are running a hell of a lot better. There was a tiny bit where I had to on, uh, I could take off two of the sparklers, like one and three or two and four at a time, and just have them so sort of unclipped but hovering above the spark plug so the spark can jump, which means there's a bigger spark, um, which led me down to like, well, am I getting a strong enough spark? So all I've just done is taken the coil back off, um, redone, redone all the connectors on it, so all fresh connectors, um, started it up and there we go all the uh, minor misfire has gone just down to dirty wiring it wasn't the wiring corroded like up the wiring loom you got the connector you only need the sort of five five mil of wire inside that connector to be corroded and it's not going to get it's not going to let the power of electric cross it so the engine's running well happy with that sounds beautiful um yeah, so meter and head, I'll have to get another one of those and I will probably send it away to KMI Injection um, because they are the best in the business at doing it. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's 420 quid and about 10 weeks. But hey-ho, they all suddenly clean everything and, you know, if um, I'm more than happy to try. I might put my hand at something and try it. If I get it to work, I work. I mean, it was working, just not perfect. Who knows what's wrong with it? Uh, they're so... They're notoriously temperamental. They're easy to take apart and put back together. There's not a lot to them, but they are temperamental and there's a little bit of dirt somewhere. So hey ho, we'll bite the bullet, we'll get that changed at some point. Um like I said we're running now so we're not worried about it. Um next thing is to sort out the wiring loom. So I've got to ch chase uh the power feed to the actual fuse box because I've got power at those connectors. Um as soon as I connect them on the bulb, no power, which means there's not enough certain one of the wiring isn't letting the current pass through so i've got to chase out the fuse box end um double shot that's connected there and what else we've got to do wiring wise no just a headlight and then we've got leaky power steering pump just down there just the union's leaking on it so i need to get down there clean it off um tighten it up um possibly take it out and change the seal on the end of it but um yeah we are looking good well happy with that i say the engine's running a um, few hiccups, but you're going to have hiccups. It's a 30 year old vehicle, it's been stripped apart to pieces, gone back together, and to have a little niggle like that, I'm happy with that. 
like I say, a few connectors, change the meter and head over. Yeah, I've lost money paying out seals to do that, but it is what it is. No, no need to be negative about it. We've got some working now. We've got a little bit of a blow from the exhaust manifold down there, so I'll have a nose at that when it cools down. But yeah, we're up and running, so massively happy with that. So next up will be sorting the lights, so we've got all the lights, all the grill can go back on. Um, all the injection, light, je injection lines can go back on there. And then, um, yeah, move on to the next step. So cheers for watching.